Young astronaut, do you know why Venus is called Earth's twin? How hot could it be hiding under all those clouds? And what special gift did the planet give to our heroes? Let's find out in today's exciting story. Voyage to Venus, the planet of fire and mystery. One peaceful afternoon, space explorers Luna and Zane were playing with their solar system puzzle. When suddenly a golden coin rolled out from the puzzle box. Zane, whoa, what's this? The coin sparkled and spoke unlocking mission Venus. The room shimmered. In a flash, Luna and Zane were in their shiny silver spacecraft, heading straight for the second planet from the sun. Narrator 3, 2, 1, blast off. As their ship approached Venus, a thick, yellow fog surrounded it. Luna worried, I can't see anything. Is Venus covered in clouds? Robot, yes. Venus has thick clouds of toxic gas, mostly carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. Underneath the clouds, there might be a rocky surface hiding. Zane, yikes. It looks beautiful but dangerous. How beautiful. The robot zoomed the camera until Venus filled the screen. Its swirling clouds at most of the planet, but they could see some bright spots shining through. Suddenly, the ground beneath their ship began to shake. Robot, uh-oh. We're entering Venus's super thick atmosphere. Brace yourself, little explorers. It'll get bumpy. Whoa. The ship dodged a huge chunk of rock hurtling toward it. Robot, welcome to Venus's super slow orbit. It takes Venus 243 Earth days to go around the sun just once. So you can imagine how long these rocks have been hurtling around. Zane, how fast could they be going? The rock that had almost hit them streaked by again. This time they saw its speed. Robot, that rock was going 11 kilometers per hour, which is 7 miles per hour. Not so fast, but not slow either. When the cloud cover cleared slightly, the kids gasped. Robot, behold, Venus's surface. It's so bright because of all the reflected sunlight off the clouds. You'd think it would be dark underneath all that, but the clouds reflect 60 to 75 percent of the sunlight that hits them. So the surface of Venus is almost as bright as a clear day on Earth. Zane, wow, it looks like a giant yellow egg yolk. Suddenly, the radio crackled. Robot warning surface temperature for 65 degrees Celsius, 869 degrees Fahrenheit. Hotter than Mercury. Luna is wide, but Mercury is closer to the sun. How is that possible? Robot, true. But Venus has a thick atmosphere that traps heat. Imagine a giant oven. Now add some rock and minerals. And that's Venus. The kids stared at the landscape. Robot, you see? Venus has lots of mountains, craters, and flowing lava. Could you live on Venus? Luna thinking, no way. It's too hot and mysterious. Robot, good thinking. Luna, not even the toughest animals or plants could survive on Venus. Suddenly, the sky flashed. Robot, oh dear, a flash of lightning. Looks like Venus has a storm. Luna, could it be hiding rain? Robot, not likely. Storms on Venus cause powerful lightning, but it rains sulfuric acid. It's extremely dangerous. Boom, a bolt of lightning struck nearby. Robot, quick, let's zoom away from the storm and land on Venus. The kids hovered their ship above a rocky, orange surface filled with mountains, craters, and glowing lava. Below them, tall spires of rock jutted up through the clouds. Lush green mountains dominated the horizon, and wide plains stretched across the lower half of the planet. Robot Venus is Earth's closest neighbor, yet these landscapes are very different from each other. Venus's gravity is also similar to Earth's, but instead of water, there's a lot of volcanic activity. Even though Venus is Earth's sister planet, it's a very different place. Venus may look like a beautiful blue marble from far away, but it's really an inferno covered in clouds. As the kids looked down at the surface, something strange caught their eye. There were faint streaks across the planet's surface, almost like roads or paths. Robot, those streaks are actually long, deep cracks in Venus's crust. They're pretty cool, but let's not get too close. Suddenly, the ground beneath them rumbled. 
Robot, uh-oh, an earthquake. Venus has many volcanoes that erupt often, causing earthquakes. With a lurch, the ship landed between some tall rock spires. The kids held their breath. Would Venus reveal its fiery secrets, or would it keep them hidden forever? Robot, remember your mission, explorers. You must find the glowing treasure chest to complete your quest. Luna thinking, so what exactly am I looking for? A real treasure chest or something symbolic? She noticed a strange shape nestled among the rocks. At first it looked like a smooth black pebble. But as she got closer, she realized it was shaped like a heart. Then she saw it sparkle. Luna found it, a golden glowstone shaped like a heart. Robot hum. Venus must want to give you a special gift. It's a reward for your bravery and curiosity. Zane, I think Venus was just showing off its beauty and power. But I wouldn't mind living here, at least for a while. Robot don't forget, it's 465 degrees Celsius, 869 degrees Fahrenheit, or more than four times hotter than Mercury. I couldn't agree more. As they admired the golden glowstone, a voice echoed inside their helmets. Robot, this planet is full of surprises, but it's time to return home. The golden glowstone will help you remember your adventures on Venus. Suddenly, the ground shook again. A huge mountain peak split in half, sending rocks tumbling down its slopes. Robot, looks like another earthquake. Better leave before Venus shakes things up again. The kids hopped into their ship and fastened their seatbelts. With a roar, they blasted off Venus and headed back to Earth. Back in their room, the puzzle piece for Venus now glowed. The coin whispered, thank you, explorers. More planets await. The kids looked at each other, then back at the coin. Zane, do you hear that? Luna, more planets to visit. Which one should we explore next? Luna, let's ask our friends on Earth. Maybe they have some ideas. The coin glistened. Zane, our friends are always ready for an adventure. Just imagine the amazing things we'll discover together. We might even meet new friends along the way. Luna, just remember to bring enough snacks. Who knows what kind of treasures we might find. Zane, I hope our next stop is Jupiter, the biggest planet in the solar system. Or maybe Neptune with its beautiful blue rings. It's hard to choose. Our solar system has so many amazing places to visit. The kids looked up at the glowing puzzle pieces on the ceiling. Each one represented a different planet in the solar system. Luna, we've only explored a small part of our solar system. Who knows what secrets the planets are hiding? There are so many mysteries out there waiting for us to solve. Zane, it's time to turn our ship toward the next planet. Where should we go next? Jupiter, Neptune, or a secret moon? What do you think, young astronaut? Tell us in the comments below. Narrator, thank you for joining Luna and Zane on their incredible voyage to Venus. Did you learn something new and exciting? Are you ready to blast off on your own interplanetary adventure? Remember, space is vast and full of wonders. And with a thirst for knowledge and a spirit of exploration, you can discover the mysteries of the cosmos. Keep asking questions, stay curious, and who knows where your journey of discovery might take you. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.